When you're looking to do home improvements, it's important to get it done right, the first time. Today I'm going to find out how to build my deck the right way, here at Windsor Plywood. Alright, let's see if there's no splinters here. It's pretty good. Look, I can even moonwalk on this thing. Hi, Jim. Hi, Aisha. Welcome to Windsor Plywood. Thanks. I mean, walking in these doors, I just get the urge to renovate walking in here. So can you tell me a little bit about what you guys do here? Well, then we're doing our job because renovations is what we're all about, whether it's inside the home, outside the home, decks, fences, hardwood laminate floorings, doors, moldings, interior finishing. Today, the average length of service on the sales counter as we speak is about 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. My Some goodness. of us are close to 40. Wow. I won't say who, <laughs> but there's, there's lots of long-term service here. So lots of different projects we could be doing. Today I want to focus on building a deck. You definitely came to the right place. Come with me, Aisha. Okay. Right here in this first section, Aisha, we can pretty much show you all of the different options in wood or all of the, the common options. The three choices are really pressure treated in green, pressure treated cedar tone, which is pre-stained as well as treated, and of course cedar. By far the most popular option of the three would be the pressure treated in green. Uh, you can see that the edges are softened and radius, they're rounded off a little bit. Uh, and the milling on this board is slower than what it would be for a construction piece of wood, leaving it with a smoother finish and easier on the feet. Well, you know which color I really love is the cedar, it's gorgeous. We've just received a fresh shipment and I'd love to show it off. I would love to see that. Come with me again. Okay. You can smell Yes, that you can. Scent. Cedar's got a smell of its own and a, mm -hmm. and a look of its own. It's absolutely beautiful wood. We're very specific and fussy about the wood that we carry. It's a second growth interior species. What we mean there is it's got a very dense, tight knot structure that's going to stay in the wood for years to come. This wood, properly maintained, is going to look as gorgeous 15, 20 years from now as it does today. Aisha, I think if you're looking for environmentally friendly and low maintenance products, you're looking for composite. And there's a few choices you've got there. The first uh, distinguishing feature is how they're fastened. The one we're looking at right now is pre-drilled and fastened through the face. It provides all the benefits of any other composite deck with the exception of the alternate, which is a very clean look with no screws through the surface and it is put down with a fastener that spaces the product as it goes. Composite decking is a combination of recycled wood fiber and recycled pop bottles for the plastic content that gives you a very stable, long-lasting, splinter-free deck surface. Splinter-free, so I can walk around in here with bare Sliver-free, Aisha, is what I'm really saying. Well, I'd love to test that out then. Well? All right, let's see if there's no splinters here. It's pretty good. I think I can even moonwalk on this thing. No slivers? I think this is the deck for me. So Tim, this is my deck right here. This is your deck. We can make the simplest of designs, bring them to our deck program, two blueprints for the do-it-yourself or the professional to build off those designs. You leave with spec list, a price list, a bottom line with the bottom number on it. So these plans are itemized enough that I could build this deck myself or hire you guys to come build it for me? That is correct. We'd love to build your deck for you. Well, I'd love to have you come build it for me. When can we start? Whether you're building it on your own or having it professionally installed, there are many options to get your deck done right. For more information, visit windsorplywood.com.